um, my uh, Fabri really appreciate it. So mm. I'm doing this this for you for him uh, too. And second, I hope my English is still okay. <laughs> I know it's good. It's good because uh, you know I'm um, I back here like last August, so I'm still trying to to listen and talk English, but you know sometimes it's not easy. So <laughs> no, it's great. I, I, thank you. Thank you so much. So you live in uh, Los Angeles? Yeah, I live in uh, Los Angeles. I was uh, born and raised here, and uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, pretty much been here uh, all my life. I was in New York for a while, but now back oh. in New York. For theater? Yeah, yeah, I trained for school and uh, nice. theater. Oh, yeah, because you study at Juilliard anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. You're, you're yeah. good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's nice, that's nice. I love New York. I yeah, really love it. The first time I was there, and I actually um, I have been in Los Angeles two times. Oh wonderful! Yes, so I, I like it. I mean, compared to DC, it's a like it's very different to DC because DC it's small, it's not too, too big, and um, like it's like like a center, you know. You have everything close. In Los Angeles, it's super big, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh my god, this is enormous, but it's beautiful. Yeah, For someone uh, like me, the, we can say it's like, a, just, uh, you know, movie nerds, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> go to the Universal, Warner Bros, go to the studios, I was dying, I was like, I'm staying here, I'm not leaving. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and I went in 2017 and 2019, uh, uh, for a wedding, so because one of my best friends married a Los Angeles guy, oh, <laughs> so <congrats. laughs> yes, now she's pregnant. Oh, so, congrats! Thanks. So we went to the wedding, we stayed like two, three days, and we were six Italian women around the Los Angeles, so you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fun time, though. <laughs> yes, <laughs> totally yes. <laughs> but it's okay. So I don't want to waste too much of your time. No, no, you're you're good. You're fine. <laughs> so you, I would just do the like uh, you know like um, because anyway this interview would be like uh, anyway written yeah. at the website. So I'm just asking you what we decided last time, and you can answer, and I'm gonna write down everything. Uh, like okay. in this case. So, as you remember, first of all, we would like to know how your passion for cinema cinema was born and what age you understood you wanted to be an actor. That's a good question. Um, I yeah. think, um, well, so the story goes is um, I'm an, an insomniac. I, I have a problem sleeping. And the only way that I could sleep when I was a kid, I'd be up all night. Um, they someone would have to take turns watching TV with me and they put on um, a late night show uh, with Johnny Carson. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I was a baby and they would watch with me and they said I was laughing. They said I would laugh at the joke. So maybe that's where it started. But when I, when I, know, when I knew that I wanted to be an actor, I was studying martial arts as a kid and um, I was really heavy into it. And my, my dad uh, rented a movie and he said, hey, um, you should watch this movie. And I think I was like 11 or 12 years old. And okay. it was The Usual Suspect. Um, okay. I don't know if you've ever seen this movie. It's a really good movie. No, I, I never watched it, to be honest. Yeah. How weird. Yeah, it's a very high popular movie, but it's, it's with Kevin Spacey, Benicio Del Toro, um, directed by Bryan Singer. And I remember watching that movie and having this feeling of like, I'm, I was jealous. I wasn't a part of it, and I was excited, and I just remember thinking, like, why didn't I do something like that? Like, why didn't they call me to? <laughs> so that's the first time I think. You I always to... had in you, basically. I think maybe I think so, but that's that's the first time when I, you know, uh, I never thought about being an actor, but after I saw that movie, it affected me so much. I, I remember thinking. 
I don't want to be with this. Why? I want to be in this. Why didn't they call me? Why didn't I think about this? And I started telling all my friends about that movie. But that's probably the first time that I was like, you know, it, it, little seed was planted. Yeah. Yes. Maybe it was like the, the start, you know, to, mm-hmm. to, I think you have, you always had in you, because if you, when you were a baby, for, you weren't sleeping and you, like your parents let you watch uh, something <laughs> you really like or something, yes, I would be an actor for sure. Yeah. So maybe um, that in there, you know? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So the second question is, we know that you study at the Julian School in New York City. How was to study there? And uh, any nice story you can tell about, um, tell, uh, tell us about when you were studying, like funny story or sad story, whatever you prefer. Um, well, it was, oh, I can tell you this story. Um, it, okay, so it was a good program to get into. It's hard to get into the school. It's very tough. It's a rigorous training program, um, you know, the kids, it's funny, I had friends who were at NYU, and I was, when I was at Juilliard, and they were all hip, like, I'd go see them when they were all, like, with their hip clothes, like, hey, check out my classes, and they'd come see us, and we're all run down, because they really work you, um, but I can tell you this, do you know who Philip Seymour Hoffman is? What? Do you know who Philip Philip Seymour Hoffman is? He was a really yeah. famous actor, and he passed away. Yeah, 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 um, absolutely. So my first year at Juilliard, um, I was going to class, and I, I go to, I, I'm going to the elevators, and we're going to the third floor, and there, behold, is Philip Seymour Hoffman. And oh, my God, I'm so he's jealous. Getting, wow. He's getting in the elevator, and he's also going up to the third floor. It turns out, he um he has a th- he had a theater company. It's still it's still a really popular theater company, and yeah. he's looking at the space to do rehearsal. So he was there with his friend, and I was with my classmate, and uh, we get in the elevator, and um I didn't know it was him at the time. My friend was like, trying to nudge me and go, "Hey, look!" So we get in the elevators, and Philip Seymour Hoffman is right behind me with a friend, and my friend is trying to nudge me to turn around, and I turn around, and Philip Seymour Hoffman is with some guy in a coffee and the coffee spilled on this on his friend's shirt and I turned on like, oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sorry and I was like so apologizing I was like I'll dry clean for you I do it and I stop Philip and I'm like hey what's up Philip you Philip I'm also Philip and he just started laughing he just started <laughs> crying so laughing funny. he was just laughing and then it felt like the, there was only two floors it felt like the elevator went forever but everyone in the elevator started laughing I was like, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry, and I shook his hand, and I got out, and like, send it to me, I'll dry clean it, and it was just, yeah. That's so, so nice. That's how I met Philip Seymour. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I, I was very sad, actually, when he passed away. He's he was crazy. a great actor. Yeah, it's more of like a... I know. So, the third question is, I'm a huge fan of Criminal Minds. Yeah. Yes, I'm so I I mean I know I was like ending last year and I was so sad. I was like, no, I don't know how to do now. I need to know more about healing <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, so um how how was to act in, in actually in criminal minds? How's like the set, the experience in general, working on a TV show like so famous in the new in the US? Um that was one of my um one of something that really helped me in my like career, you know, because you know that's like you said, it's such a famous show, and honestly, that was one of the best experiences I've ever had. Um, working with the director and working on a show, working with Jamar, um, the lead on that show, Thomas Gibson, you know, he played. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, so he directed that episode. And oh, that's cute. That's was, nice. It was awesome. It was one of the best experiences because. They say a lot of the times the best directors yeah. work with the people who are actors, you know, um, because they know, and especially know with actors, and it, that whole experience was fantastic. Shamar was great. Um, set was great. You can tell that Thomas really loved what he was doing. It was fun. You know, sometimes, you, well, sometimes you can on the set, you might work with somebody, and it's always stressful because yeah. you're trying to make the day, but he was so excited about everything. And then he took part in casting me. I had to come in and read for it. And um, 
I just had some of the best experience on set with Shamar, who was great. Shamar was a fantastic work with Yeah, he looked like, uh, like a nice guy, like a very nice guy, very professional. Yeah, it was great. And the best thing about the movie is the actors, they just got out of the way. And I think, and because Thomas is an actor, he also went to Juilliard, but because yeah. he, he's an actor, he knows. So, you know, we sh- you know I, I showed up ready to go. I was on set, and he was just like, hey, um, let's just read this scene so you don't have to act it. And he, he, would ask, he would ask me, he would say, Philip, do you, do you want to shoot now? I'm like, oh, uh, I mean, no. I'm here. I'm like, I'm here for you. And he would say, yeah, whenever you're ready. And I just did my thing. And you know how, wow. I, you know, you know, directors give notes. They kind of say like, blah, blah, His only note, he would come in and <laughs> he was so funny, yeah. but it's so, so great for an actor. He would come in and he'd say, hey, Philip, he'd say, my only note for you, keep killing it. Wow. And I was like, okay. And then he'd leave. But it was such I, a great experience because he's really giving the actor power, you know? Yeah. 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 I, I actually, to someone who loves like movies and TV show, like me, knows the in reality like the actor, they are nice. You know, it's like very oh my gosh, I'm not wasting my time. You know, I'm, I know that they are as normal people, but they are nice, nice people too. I don't know how to explain. You know, mm-hmm. nice to know that when uh, you like like an actor or a singer, or whatever. Even if you never meet him or her, but you know someone's telling you that it's a nice person, it's very nice. Like I was yeah. like, oh yeah, great story. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So, and, yeah. Um, do you prefer to uh, to like to play movies or in theater? So you prefer like live or no? Live Based. is always fun, but I think now, especially right now, I prefer uh, kind of like being in front of the camera. Um, you know, the reason I went to the Juilliard School is because I watched film actors. You know, I watched certain people who were on film, and I, I, I still like theater, and I, you know, I don't really do it as much, but, the, you know, my career thus far, I've gotten more, I've gotten offered more challenging work doing film school. So that's oh, yeah. what I gravitate to. Yeah, so I mean, sometimes I, I'm in a, kind of a good place where I've been offered some creative things, but the roles aren't that challenging. So more challenging uh, for the feature films and TV shows that I'm doing. So um, that's from my oh. passion. Yeah. You you prefer uh, like acting like in movies or TV show right now, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Are you thinking to go back to theater in some point? I mean, especially when COVID. You know? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it just it all depends on like what you know, what roles or what's challenging. I'm not really big on, like, at Juilliard, you do a lot of Shakespeare and you do a lot of these plays. I'm not really big right now on doing um, old work. I want to be doing new things. So film, probably an opportunity to do completely new. So, you know, if I'm getting off of that as opposed to, like, doing something that some other great actors already done, I'd rather do the new new work, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's good. Oh, it challenges. So we we saw you in uh, in the movie The Art of Self Defense, mm-hmm. which personally I love it so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I watch I watch I mean I watch like a few weeks ago to be mm-hmm. honest, but I watched in the movie theater when it came out. Oh, thank you so much. Wait, were you in uh, were you in America when it came out? Yes, I, I, because when it came out, I was uh, still in, in the US. So thank I was you so like, much. I watched in the movie theater, I was like, oh my god, I love this movie. <laughs> Little bit crazy, especially <laughs> the first part, but I was like, totally. So, what, um, my question is, we saw you, like, uh, uh, play, like, karate. Mm-hmm. Do you actually do, uh, do karate and did when you were young? Yes, 100%. I did martial arts, I did, um, Wando, Kung Fu, oh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. No. Bruce Lee was my guy. So that <laughs> was my, he was my everything. That's where my focus was. I thought I was going to like train to try to be in the UFC. So I was like yeah. starting to move in that direction. Um, and then, you know, the movie, you know, films really just kind of um, took over my life. But yeah, um, that's like actually the first film uh, 
that I actually got to use my martial arts and you know oh, I've had, nice. I, yeah I've had it and I can do it not as well as uh, the other guy in the film Steve who played yeah. he, he, he gets bitten by the dog he's like a he's like a real trained martial artist um, wow uh, I'm not that good but um, I can do no, stuff yeah, I can yeah. do some stuff oh well thank you but um, I, I was watching like oh my god how can people do stuff like that <laughs> 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 that's always weird And uh, how was uh, in the movie work with uh, Jesse? He's fantastic and he is Jesse's responsible to getting me cast. Um oh. would, yeah, okay. I was the last person cast and for some reason my part was they were saying the director and Jesse Eisenberg it was hard to find. Um I think people weren't getting the tone. I set my tape in on like listen like like a Friday night or Saturday morning at I set my tape on at like 2:30 a.m. in in the morning um like an audition tape and uh they got back to me Saturday morning and they oh. offered me the part and the person who saw the tape was Jesse so he's the one oh, who okay. told the director hey this is the guy so when I got to, it was weird because I know who Jesse Eisenberg is he's famous when I got to set I showed up and Jesse was telling me he's like Philip 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 hey 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 He was talking, he's like, he's like, I, I saw some of your stuff, I saw some, some, you know, I was like, oh, you know, so I was like, thank you, man, so he, he was, he was so fun to work with and, and hard to work with because um, he's so funny, everything he said in that movie, I just, oh, really? Cracked <laughs> up, yeah, um, he's a really good actor, yeah. That's nice, that's nice, but anyway, that movie, I mean, I can watch again and again, uh, it's like, well, thank it's, you, yeah, I'm so proud of that movie, it's like one of my yeah, favorite things. Like it's ve- I love it. So my next question is, uh, uh, as we know, you have a long career career and you start in 2001 if I don't get wrong. Mm-hmm. So what's your uh, best experience? Ooh, um, my best experience that's uh, that's that's the question what I usually always say is uh, the next movie <laughs> coming up was <laughs> but um, but Uh, I will say that you know speaking of you seeing it uh, the, in the movie theater um, that movie was everywhere and um, I had a great experience with that yeah. movie but my parents um, it was interesting because my parents were in San Diego and um, oh. uh, yeah they I, I was driving and my mom was like you need to call me you need to call me now and I thought it was an emergency and I was like what's wrong what's wrong and she said she said hey I I'm with your stepfather and we're sitting in the theater the AMC we just watched your movie but, you know, <laughs> it was a cr- it's a crowded theater and they waited for the credits to roll and I think my mom leaned over to this lady laughing she's like that's my son and then she said that my my mom said that her and my stepfather just like wet because they know oh. how how long I've been trying to do this and it, you know it was something where they could just go to the theater and see me and So that was a special moment that I was like, oh, wow, that's totally touching. So, <laughs> that's so nice. Yeah. No, I, I can imagine, I mean, I'm not going to imagine because I'm not, I'm not an, actor, an actress, but I can imagine like how your mom and your stepfather were like proud at that moment. Yeah. yeah. So about your next movie, as a realist, you make it uh, should come uh, out next year, right? So... Yes. Uh, how much are you excited first of all and um, how you enjoy to film with it I mean uh, very good cast incredible cast yeah 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 um, um, I'm very excited about it uh, it's directed by Jeff Nelms and American Pantheon um, it stars myself and a very talented cast Jessica Ruth Bell Julia yeah. oh, man, this is gonna be something <laughs> but um, it's very it's very good um, it's like I don't want to give too much away, but somebody said that it reminded them of a couple movies. Um, one, Midnight in Paris, and then oh. um, also it has like a Parasite vibe. Did you ever see Parasite? Yes. Um, that movie, which is one of my favorite movies. But um, yeah, it's about, uh, basically it's about this homeless guy who be- ends up becoming a Hollywood assistant for a, 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 pr- a movie producing family. And um, it's, pretty, it's pretty funny, it's pretty zany, and it's nothing like I've ever done. And um, okay. it was originally something called, new. yeah, something, yeah, it was originally called The Three Acts of Norman Leonard, 
and they changed it to as real as you make it in the okay yeah i'm nervous because i'm like a lot of it but i have a great you know cast with it um so yeah. we'll, we'll see <laughs> I will see it, of course, when uh, it's going to come out. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, something that it's not about uh, the question, just because you mentioned, what uh, you um, you thought about uh, Parasite? Oh, I, I loved it. I loved it. It was such an original film, and I love when films are like that. See, and that's what I'm passionate about. And, you know, I think I have, <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of films coming out, like The Art of Self-Defense. I, I feel like that's one that I'm really proud of, and I'm like, okay, that was big. And um, yeah. I'm trying to do more films, not necessarily in that vein, but um, it's just it's hard to make movies. But when I saw Parasite, because you can't really describe somebody uh, a genre, and that's what yeah. I love about it. All I would say to people is you just have to see the movie and experience it. Yeah. And, you know, and it's just, yeah, I, I, I wish I was a part of something like that. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I mean, it was great, but like the end made me like totally like oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry right? for shit, but no. I was like, what the heck is going on in here? Everyone is dying, and and he stayed there. I was like, oh my god, I don't know if I can. Like my heart <laughs> can do something. It's great. It's it's like a roller coaster. You're thinking it starts off as like a kind of like a comedy, kind of like a. And then yeah. it changes, it like pulls on your heart, and you're just like, what is this movie? <laughs> it's great. I, I love that movie. I know, I know, I know. Last three questions. So, talk uh, about you. Who is uh, like uh, Philip outside the screen? Ooh. Who are you? <laughs> what do you want to say to your fan or people that don't know oh, you and they want to know you better? Ooh, Philip so outside. It's interesting because it changes. But now that I'm like, um, I'm doing this profession a lot, I'm always on set. I think I'm more, um, I think I'm more of like a homebody and I'm, and I'm more um, quiet. Cause you know, some of the characters I have to play are so loud and crazy. And I think in real life, I'm a lot more uh, reserved, quiet and, and um, try, to, try to be laid back and chill as possible. I'm pretty easy going. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I play some characters who are kind of neurotic, neurotic and crazy, but um, I'm pretty laid back, pretty easy going. Um, if I, I try to work out, because if I don't, you know, <laughs> my my head just I, I have to do something physical. So me, I'm a very I, physical person, and the COVID was hard. You know, I was out, I had my mask on when it started, but I had to be running, I had to be doing something more. I know. Yeah, I'll go. We can stay so much time home again. I mean, it's stressful. I can understand. Yeah. Because yeah. here in Italy, we still have like a lockdown, kind of. Right. Not, like, mm -hmm. not like last year, but like uh, restaurants, bars uh, are all closed. We can just uh, have uh, food uh, takeaway, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, gyms and uh, movie theaters are closed. Theater, no concert at all. I mean, it's just very stressful. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's tough. I was like, I, I just can't wait when it's gonna done, but yeah. uh, I don't know when that's the problem. But I mean, it's gonna end in some point. I just yeah. I wish to go back to home. I mean, for home, I'm DC. So, yeah, DC. DC. Did you ever been to DC? I've never been. You know, my sister lived there for two years, and I was trying to go. Really? It oh was one, yeah. It was it was when I was starting to like uh, book like a bunch of work, like films. So it was, my schedule was tough, and no. I was trying to see it, but it changed a little bit since uh, I moved there. In better, of course, and now mm -hmm. there are so many things to do. They open so many places, and there is always something to do. Like even if you just you want to go like to the Kennedy Center to see a concert or a musical or a play, so many oh, theaters. Yeah. I was like, yeah, usually, I mean, something that my friends and I used to do, it's go like to concert because we, we always like went there, like around there. And we knew that if you go to buy a ticket, like one hour before the show, if it's mm -hmm. not sold out, they give it to you for like 50% off. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And I pay like a ticket for Queen Latifah, like uh, oh. maybe 
thirty dollars because I got to one hour no. before. Really? I feel like, yeah, because if they have tickets remain, if you go there, it's not sold out. They just give it to you for something, you know. Yeah. And of course, I watch Hamilton there. Oh, we? Really? <laughs> nice. Because every ticket in New York was crazy. Yeah. But two years ago, 2018, I think so, 2018, I don't remember right now. Um, my employer, she knows that I really want to go, but it was still like, like uh, the cheapest one, $400. Oh, so she oh. gave me for my birthday. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, she did. She got you. Like, oh wow. She. That's... I was out that night with friends. She called me and she told me, "Was uh, what are you doing uh, Thursday night?" I was like, "Well, uh, after I'm leaving work, uh, so I'm leaving you nothing to be honest." <laughs> like, okay, check your email. I checked the email. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Hamilton ticket, like uh, sixth row to the center, four hundred dollars. I was like. Uh, Okay, yeah, I'm freaking dying for real. You, so you got you got to see it live. Well, what, did you love it? I mean, was the experience good? Did you like it? Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. And the case was that uh, for the first like um, for uh, like the first day they were in DC, uh, Lin -Man Manuel Miranda came to like for interview and stuff, and I, I had the chance to. To meet uh, to meet him, yeah. he's so great. He's so funny, so amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. But the, I don't amazing. know if you watched. I did. I saw it on Netflix. I I, I, did, I wasn't able to see it, and I was like, this is amazing. I mean, uh, I I watched on Disney Plus when it came out, but oh yeah, like, Disney Plus, yeah. Live, it's like something else. I mean, I was. That's what I heard. Wow, what an, it, so amazing. It, and the music, oh my god, yeah. I mean, for someone who loves theater or something outside, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, oh, no, that's, yeah. that's amazing. That what, what an experience. Wow. You were part yeah. of that. That's like a part of basically, like... Basically, yeah, no, it was so much fun because I know the tickets were expensive, but they worth anyway all the price. I just was lucky they had them Thanks to my employer. <laughs> anyway, she's so awesome. I know she. Yeah, she's she's great. I'm still uh, like talk with them like uh, often, and the kids they send me because so I study school there. I graduate, and while I was in school, I was doing babysitting to get some money. So I was with this family for six years. Oh, oh there you and go. And it's like that I was part of the family, and even now, now the the oldest one, it's almost thirteen and a half, and she, of course, she has a phone, so she always send me picture and stuff, of what they are doing, and when you are coming back, I was like, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if I win the green card with the lottery yeah, uh, tomorrow, but I don't tomorrow. know. <laughs> But I promise that uh, I will come back. Now I just want to wait uh, for, uh, you know, COVID pass and see yeah. what's going on in my life. Yeah. So last question. For the movie lovers all around the world, especially your fan from Movie mm -hmm. News, what's your favorite movie? And uh, which character you, uh, you would love to play, uh, perform and bring him back to screen if you could? Great. Um... Great question. Okay, so my favorite movie is also another movie that kind of like same thing. I was at Juilliard and people were telling me about this movie that came out, and if you can see it, then it just it just rocked my world. It's called Old Boy, but it's the it's the Korean original version. They did a remake. Spike Lee did a remake, but um, the cat the guy who the the director who did Parasite it's a colleague of his um who oh. did this movie. It's a uh, the director's name is June. I always forget. I need to know, but yeah, it's it's the original old boy. You have to watch it with subtitles. Um, it yeah, that movie will. I just it blew my mind. I have to figure it out. I don't know if I can find somewhere, but I, I will see. So it's, you like the like the original one? that's from Korea, right? Yeah, it's fantastic, and and it blew up in here, and even like Tarantino started 
uh, would you go to the movies if say Tarantino presents? Just and it, oh, and, uh, and Tarantino took a lot from that movie too. Like he took some scenes from you know that movie is crazy. Right. It's great. It's just like my favorite movie is a classic. So <laughs> wait, well, which one? Which one? Dirty Dancing. Oh, that, that's a classic. I mean. I I don't know how many times I watch it, and basically when uh, they film uh, a big part in uh, in Virginia, mm. and it, the actually the the hotel it's like uh, where they film it's four hour from DC. So mm. finally last year after nine years we decided with my friend we booked the room there. Okay, in a, in, no wait. Wait, there is a, a bad story, bad, bad part. We, like, uh, I think it was, uh, like, uh, we booked the room, like, in November, November 2019 for April 2020. Of course, COVID came. I was like, no, I, I, can't, like, I can't believe it. I was like, seriously? I, it took me ten, nine years to decide to go there, finally. And COVID came, so I wanna go. I swear, the f- the first things I'm gonna do when I'm coming back in the US, it's go there. I don't care, even the day after. But I I, I just wanna know. I just wanna die yeah. from this first like a baby, you know. You definitely I gotta do. That's so funny. That's and great. I have another two movies. Which one? Uh, the um. My second one, it's, uh, I never remember the name in English because in Italy the name is different, but the one with Robbie Williams and uh, how it's called, A Dead Poet Society. Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, Dead Poet Society. That's I mean, it. I totally love it. And uh, the other one, it's uh, The Parenting Trap, if it's called like that, yeah. but the first one, the original one. Yeah. With uh, Susan and Sharon. I still can watch the movie in this day. Disney Plus. Oh, okay. This great. is why my daughter, I mean, I don't have kids now. If I'm going to yeah. have a daughter, her name would be Sharon. Oh, that's I was like four when I watched this, this movie the first time. I was like, okay. I decided I just need a daughter now because I want to give the name Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like my ex boyfriend, oh, but you just said the name. Yes, because I carry nine months, so it's my, like, you know. <laughs> cheers, hey, cheers. <laughs> yeah, they, sorry, man, you don't have any choice. So, <laughs> anyway, this is um, just like, uh, yeah. Okay, next question. Talking oh, wait, about. Uh, the, 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 you said you, the second part of that was what character that I wanted to. Oh, be yeah, you're first? right. Sorry, I start um, talking. And no, 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 it's good. I, I was going to say, Usually, that's interesting you're asking me that. Usually, I don't have an answer for that. I, I'm like, I want to do something new. But if I wanted to remake something, I would like to play the lead, the lead role in a movie, which is also one of my favorite movies called The Liberty. And that movie stars Johnny Depp. And that's, something oh, that yeah. I would, that's something that I would oh. like to, to remake that's and do. Not, yeah. yeah. Whoa. So, yeah. Maybe for movie. April. I don't say I don't know if you saw that one. It's pretty yeah, yeah. I, I watch all uh, Johnny Depp yeah. movies. So. Yeah, that's like one of his best performances, and uh, I, I I love that movie. I, I keep I keep watching that movie over again. So I know. Well, like for uh, Leonardo DiCaprio at the time, I still I don't know why Johnny Depp doesn't have an Oscar, but okay. I know, right? Oh man, I know. <laughs> I was like, I mean, it's true that, like, lately he did, like, uh, all the Tim Burton movies and stuff like that. They usually, they are not candidate the Oscar, but still, why he doesn't have one? Yeah, he's been he's been nominated a couple of times, and he's, hopefully yeah. he gets one. He's, he's great. He's great. I know. I love him. Anyway, last question. <laughs> Talking about Italy. Since the interview, anyway, would be released in Italy. <laughs> Have you ever been here? And uh, which city, which city you uh, you would like to visit, or uh, if, which food do you want to try? Because we, you know, that we have the best food ever, right? <laughs> I heard you have the best food. I've never been to Italy. I want to go so bad. I almost went on um, 
my uh, when was it? 2002. It was my holiday break from school at Juilliard. I was go I was flying back to uh, from New York to San Diego, and um, uh, people were on the plane and they were asking, "Hey, uh, will you if you let this family fly and give up your seat, we'll give you points." And I did it three times. I let I let a family go, and then I got on the next flight, and then another family because it was really bad, and then another family. I had so many points. I went to the um to the flight attendant at the kiosk, and I said, "Hey, I got all these points. How can I go to Italy?" And they're like, "Actually, you could fly to Italy and back." And I was so close to doing it. I was so close oh to doing it. God. But my mom, she was like, "No, you're coming home for Christmas. Like, come home." <laughs> so I so I know, so, mom, mom. Yeah. Just in Italy, but yeah, um, it's so fun. yeah, but um, I think I want to try Rome. Um, I want to see Rome or, or uh, Milan. Um, but I've never, I've never been. I'm looking forward to eating some of the food. I heard you guys got the best stuff. So totally, totally. I'm sorry. I mean, I know <laughs> that everyone say, oh, because the Americans have the best food, the China has the best. Yeah. Oh, really, Italy has the best food. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to trying. Oh yeah, I'm waiting here for you. I I would let you try like. <laughs> okay, good. You guys take me to your your favorite spot, and I know this is it's it's dumb, but I do want to try what the original, you know, what your pizza tastes like. I hear it's different, so you know, I want to yeah. try it. Pizza in Italy is good everywhere, of course, but. If you really want to eat the real, like real one, you have to go to Naples. Okay. Because I mean, absolutely. And uh, uh, I think I, I was telling you about the Stanley Tucci. Oh yeah. Yeah. The first episode, he came to Naples, so you can actually see how, like, pizza, real pizza is in Italy. Oh, even if I'm Italian, I was dying. Yeah, basically, I can go out from my home and go and get pizza. Like, I was dying. I was like, no, I want that pizza. But now we can leave our district. Yeah. So I have okay. to wait. You have to wait? All right. So maybe by the time I get there, it'll be open and you take me to your favorite places. Oh, yeah, yeah. And right. uh, Rome is amazing. I mean, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I, I have been to Rome a lot, a lot of time because I have my best friends there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Rome is something you can imagine. I mean, it's a cow, it's a totally chaos, to be honest. Like, mm -hmm. with our people, oh, but it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, lo I love Milan too, but of course, I love Milan because uh, soccer. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Italians said soccer, right? It's like yeah. uh, Americans and God, basically. So yeah. we are. <laughs> so I usually including like my favorite team. Uh, I don't see my friends. I don't do stuff, and my friends are very mad at all. Even my ex boyfriend. Ah, you have to watch soccer. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> my, my last boyfriend told me that uh, I do. Too many stuff, so he can. Uh, oh no! He can take it. I was like, I'm just like to live and do stuff. But if yeah. you think just to work, it's not my fault. Yeah, yeah. You like to live life. You like to enjoy life. It's, it's you know. Yeah, and now that I'm here and I can do basically nothing, it's very like. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully I don't know soon. I, I hope so. I don't know if Los Angeles is open or something. Like, yeah, it's becoming more. It's becoming more open. Everyone here is getting the the vaccine, so it, they just opened movie theaters like a couple weeks ago. So people are excited. They're very. It's coming back. So I don't go to a movie theater. I think it was like, uh, yeah, March basically, March two thousand twenty, like a little bit before uh, the lockdown yeah. in the US. I can do that. Uh, I mean, I, I I'm still watching movies, like you know, but it's not it's not the, the same. Like yeah. to watch your computer or your TV than in the in the movie theater. It's something else. Yeah, it, it's a new experience. So. I know, but anyway, sooner or later we uh, the day I uh, will be back in the movie theater. I don't know, but like 
I'm dreaming which movie I'm gonna see first. <laughs> like, I know, right? Which movie is coming out next year so I can watch it? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't wanna stealing your uh, more of your time. No, this has been fun. This has been fun. Yeah, thank you so much for the interview. I will take like a few days to translate and write everything mm-hmm. because like between work and other stuff, like yeah. I'm pretty full, but I promised to Fabri to do it. So I just want to, I want to do a big, like a good job. Yeah. And of course I will go in, uh, I'm going to translate all the interview to you. So you okay. can actually like read it. Because okay. even if you translate to um, Google Translate, it's not the same. It's not the same. I'm trying to take a, I was trying to take a screenshot, like a picture on my phone. I don't know if it, it worked now. Uh, let's see, no. hold on one second. Yeah, so I can be able to zoom, like zoom back. Is that gonna work? There we go. Got it. Nice. All right. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, thank you. Okay. I, um, let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you for, um, doing it and I'll repost whatever you post and um, yeah yeah thank, thank you. you so thank you so much for this we really appreciate it you are amazing you, oh, I mean you. like an actor and uh, really like 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 a person oh thank you you are amazing thank you so much and uh, message me every time you wanna for anything to say even <laughs> how's the interview like a uh, move, move. I want to read whatever you want. I will. I definitely will. Thank you. You're, you've been awesome. And a great. And I have a lot of movies coming up, so I hope you can watch them. We'll see if we can get you like a like a private link. And you let let us know what you think and stuff like that. So. Oh my god, I, I would love that. Yeah, I would, <laughs> would like to, for you to see it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I, w- I need to understand how to close this because it's my friend's stuff. I think it's yeah. just a live studio, right? Do you have yeah. like live studio? Okay. Uh-huh. I'm going to do it. Okay. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. Have, a good day. have the good rest of the day. And for me, it's almost night. So <laughs> have some food, eat some food, have a good, wonderful sleep. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Bye. Bye.